everybody, welcome back to another ROG uh, Ally video from Asus. The nice people at Asus were kind enough to send me one to play around with. And in this video, I just want to show you the control experience with Windows. Because the ROG Ally is, of course, a Windows PC, Windows 11 PC. And you may be wondering, well, it doesn't have the touchpads of something like the Steam Deck. So how do you navigate around Windows? Is it a bit of a pain? And the answer is no, it's not. It's actually relatively easy. So if you bring up uh, the control center software um, and we go to the top, we can see we have control mode. So what the command center will try and do is it will try and figure out, depending on the application you are in, whether to have the ally in kind of um, desktop mode or gamepad mode. And we can have an auto. Basically, when it's in desktop mode, you use your right thumbstick to move your mouse pointer around. And it's quite intuitive and it works very well. Um, and then you use your right uh, shoulder button or bumper button, that one there, to do a uh, left click and uh, your right trigger to do a right click. So you can kind of you know, move things around like that or we could do a right click to get all the options up like that. Nice and easy and then you can use up and down on the D-pad to scroll around. I think up and down is the same as the as the, um, as the uh, as the scroll wheel on the mouse. Um, and as you'd expect, you know, you can click on different windows and flick between them like that. But there are some rather handy shortcuts as well that you can use to get around. So let's say you need to use the key keyboard on some other things. We They revolve around using the D-pad. And pressing this button at the same time so what we can do is if we press in the back button and press um, up on the d-pad we get the keyboard up nice and easy um, you could also go into the command center and tap on keyboard there if we press the back button and press down we get task manager pop up so you can dive in there and you can end applications when they're not working um, if you press down the D-pad and press right, sorry, down on the back button and press right on the D-pad, we get all the different windows that are open at the moment. So we can just select, you know, um, one and just flick between things like that. Or obviously we could uh, use the mouse like that and, and work through. And finally, if we press uh, back on the back button and press left on the D-pad, you actually you tend to use that when you're already in a window. It takes you back to the um, uh, the desktop, nice and easy like that as well. And also you can go into the command center and you can click on show desktop as well, like that. Um, and you can flick between stuff. So as you can see, if you're used to a Steam Deck or, I don't know, um, or, a, or a laptop or something, <laughs> anything else, or a normal computer with a mouse, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But once you're actually used to it, it, it is very intuitive and very easy to use. And even the fact that sometimes you have to force the uh, ally to ch to choose the correct mode so like sometimes for example for example with fallout 4 when you first fire it up it wants to the game itself wants you to use a mouse and keyboard in the like mini launch it has to select your graphical preferences so you've got you for that so you have to be in desktop mode but then as soon as you're into the game um, it senses the you know that we've got these game uh, this gamepad attached to um, the rug alley, and then it wants to be in gamepad mode. So sometimes you have to switch backwards and forwards, but it is once once you're used to it, it's dead easy you know to press that and bring it up. Um, we've got Armory Crate game library, which is a bit like Steam um, big picture mode there as well, and of course the big advantage with the rug alley. Um, over the Steam Deck is the fact that it is Windows. And that's a disadvantage too. But as you can see here, we've got all these different launchers. Amazon, Battle.net, Epic, God Galaxy, Xbox, and Steam. And we can install all these and uh, they will run nicely. Okay, so that's kind of the Windows navigation experience with the ROG Ally. It works very well. And as soon as you start remembering all the, the shortcuts, um, it becomes kind of... Uh, second nature and very easy to do anyway that's enough for me hope you found the video useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon